Hi guys, today we're making some cute Christmas pudding cookies. I'm just starting with some brown fondant. Now, you can just dye your own, you can buy it ready, ready dyed. You can also get chocolate flavoured stuff. Renshaw's do a nice chocolate flavoured fondant. What I'm going to do is take in the cookie cutter that I used for the cookie. I'm just going to cut out a circle of my brown. Now, if your icing's quite tacky, you might be able to stick it straight to the biscuit. If not, just use something like royal icing to push it on in place. Mine's going on okay without. Um, all the equipment and things that I use, I'll put in the description box below the video as well so that you have that. Okay, now this next bit, it's not essential if you don't want to do this bit, but you can just darken the edges just a tiny bit with a bit of edible food dust. Again, I'll put links in the description below as to where you can get that from. Next we just want a little bit of white, it's just fondant again that we've got here. I'm just going to roll it out nice and thin. Now it's quite warm here today in my room so it's very soft so if you find the same you might want to add a tiny bit of modelling paste to it to thicken it up if you want to. So I'm starting with a circle and then I've got a cutter, there's a bit of a flower shape that I'm just going to use to cut a small amount out the top with like that. So once you've cut out your little flower shape out of the circle we're just going to stick that onto the edge of there like that and again if you want to dust it up with a bit of colour on the edges you can but just go for something quite light in colour like a yellow or an ivory just a little bit on the very edge and for this I'm going to use this little PME tool that I've got that puts a nice smile shape directly onto it for me you can draw them by hand with the cocktail stick or modelling tool if you want and we're just going to draw in where the mouth's going to be so I think we'll have the mouth about here if you want to open it up a little bit just pull the mouth open a little bit Again, we'll just use this now for the eyes. You can use it either way up, so on these you can see the eyes are shut downwards and that way. On this one, they're the opposite way around. And we're just going to go either side of the mouth with the eyes like that. And I'm just going to add little eyelashes just by pressing in a little bit with my toe. So we're keeping it quite simple but quite cute. And if you've got any pink edible dust, See if you can get a little bit on for the cheeks to give them rosy cheeks. If you've used quite a deep colour brown, you might find the blusher doesn't show up too well though. Next I've got a little bit of green. And we're just going to roll some teardrop shapes. It's starting to dry a little bit. If yours dries, you can just add a little bit of Trex to it. I'm just going to push that on there with my tool. And I'm just going to put a little bit of water to make sure my berry sticks. And we're just using a little bit of red now. Rolling a small little ball and we'll put that in place there. So that's it, that's all there is to it. Nice and quick, easy to do with the kids ready for Christmas. I do have a few other videos that are quite similar um, and some that are a bit different as well for Christmas. If you want to check them out, just go over to my Christmas playlist and have a look through. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.